Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. I am super excited because it is that time of the month again where I get to sit down and fangirl over Korean skincare. Once a month, I like to film this style of video where I talk about the Korean skincare products that I've been trying and testing over the past month. I share my thoughts and feelings on them, how they work to my skin, any results that I've got from them. But more importantly, I also ask out for your guys' feedback on any of the products that I'm testing. So we can kind of go on the voyage together. Today, I've got some really, really interesting products to share with you. Some things that are a little bit new and unique that you might not have seen on the market before. I found some instant ding 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 holy grails but of course there are a couple wah, 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 total fails that I do just want to call out. So sit back, relax and let's talk Korean skincare. Now in this style of video I usually like to have a theme. We're either talking Korean cleansers, Korean sunscreens, the best of Korean toners and essences but I thought this month let's mix it up just a little bit and I actually wanted to look at some of my favorite Korean brands and take some of the products from them that I haven't tried before so I can really get a full idea of the entire collection. I also wanted to throw in a few products that I see like bubbling under a few mentions online but I wanted to try out so maybe we can get ahead of the game. Maybe we can be the trendsetters and try some products I think could be huge in the next couple of months. So that's kind of the mismatch theme of today's video. Uh, these videos are always in partnership with Stylevana who very kindly reach out to me every month and say can we send you a selection of product. Sometimes I just get a random selection and let them do the picking. Sometimes I like to um, help curate it and choose a few um, products I think you guys would be interested in. But a big thank you to Stylevana for sending me these products. It's not post sponsored but they did kindly give me the products that I'm um, sharing in today's video. So let's jump straight on into it and I'm going to start with cleansers. I have a lot of cleansers on the go at the moment. In fact I probably have a little bit of a problem and I need to cut back on the number of cleansers. But I can never resist trying a new one and this is the Centella Bubble Cleansing Foam by iUnique. iUnique is a Korean brand which I like some of their products. I like their little mini serums. They're really good, great travel size. But some some of their other products just haven't worked for me. I tried this cleanser. Now, I like it because it's foaming and if you know you suffer from oily acne prone skin like myself that foaming sensation can feel really refreshing and it can work really well at just eliminating some additional oil from the skin. I found this worked so so well because it's got that centella asiatica water as the primary ingredient in it which is something different to the traditional oils or water that you tend to see in most cleansers so I really enjoyed that. I'm going to call out that it's not most travel friendly because this did leak a couple of times and I didn't leave it upright so if you do buy this product I would would say make sure you leave it upright so I just want to caution that I probably won't travel with it but I found it worked really nicely it's pH balanced so it's not going to strip or disrupt the acid mantle on the skin and I think it gave a really nice light cleanse it's not heavy duty enough that it's going to remove all that dirt debris and makeup in one so if you're wearing a lot of makeup or waterproof makeup I'd probably say use it as a second step in a double cleanse but actually a really nice product it's not going to change the world but actually I'm really glad I discovered it and I'll continue to use it until I've used the bottle up and then I'll kind to make my decision on whether I want to repurchase. Now a couple of products which I did literally fall in love with instantly are from a brand which I already love and I think just about every one of their products has worked for me and that's Make Prem. I love the Make Prem sunscreens. They've been my ride or die favourites for years, but also I've just started developing a love for their moisturisers and some of their other treatments in their routine. So I was super excited when this little box arrived, which is their Skin Best Friend set by Make Prem. In here, you get two of their essences. Um, you get the Fresh Calming Essence and the Deep Moisture Essence. Now, both of these are quite intriguing to me because they've got different ingredients that you don't always see in skincare. Let's start with this one, which is the Fresh calming essence. This is designed to calm, soothe the skin and has as its primary ingredient tea tree leaf water. This is fantastic at calming and soothing the skin and it's also got some other nice hydrators in there. Overall it's called an essence but I'd say it probably goes on more like a serum. If I show you on the hand it drops very much like a gel like serum which is quite nice. I keep it in the fridge and I think it just gives an added element of cooling and soothing and it's a really nice addition. This set isn't that expensive so I would probably say if you're looking at these and make Prem as um, you know as a brand and want to try something. This set is probably a really great place to start because you get to try two of my favorite products from them. But this is really great. For me, my oily, acne prone skin that isn't prone to sensitivity, it may be not my go-to forever, but for anyone that has that sensitivity and wants an unfragranced, nice, calming and soothing um, essence that has a nice gel feel, this is a really good product. The standout though, honestly, is this. This is one of those products that you find it and you think, 
Wow. Like, wow. Why isn't this getting more hype? So this is the Deep Moisture Essence. Again, I think Essence is a bit misleading. I'd say it's more like a cream, actually. If I show you how this one applies, it's thicker than the gel, which was the calming one. And this definitely applies like a moisture cream. I love this. Literally love this. And the ingredients list alone sold me. So in here, you don't have any hyaluronic acid, or niacinamide. This is really difficult to find. A lot of people can be a bit sensitive to hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. So impossible to actually find skincare products without either of those ingredients. This has it. In here as well, you've got some ceramides, which is fantastic at repairing the barrier function of the skin and hydrating. You've also got panthenol, which is my favorite B vitamin, calming, soothing. It's unfragranced, which is fantastic if you're looking to cut out fragrance in your life. And it doesn't have that awful gluey smell that sometimes, you know, it's hydrating serums can smell a bit like PVA glue. No one wants that in their life. This stunning, gorgeous. Honestly, if you were going to buy one of the two, I'd probably say this is the standout. The Cami one, nice. This is the standout, unique, something totally different on the market. I like the two as a set, but honestly, this one, stunning. And a little bit of a cheeky tip. If you're having one of those lazy skincare days where, look, we all have them. Maybe we've got back from a night out and we're feeling... Maybe we've enjoyed ourselves a little bit too much and we just cleanse our skin to get that makeup off and you really just can't be bothered doing anything else. Keep this on your vanity because honestly, slathering this on your skin, you will wake up with a guaranteed good skin day and you only need one step. So yeah, ding, 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 instant holy grail. Now, keeping with toners, essences, liquid serums, I'm going to call out this, which is a brand by a brand called Riri, a Korean brand, uh, which is the Bifida Ferment Essence. So this, I've not been huge into ferments and essences in general. I think I kind of got on that bandwagon quite late, but I've been discovering them and absolutely loving them. In keeping with a lot of Korean skincare, when they say it includes an ingredient or there's a standout ingredient, they pack it full of it. And this has the Bifida Ferment Essence at a 97% concentration, which is fantastic because I kind of think sometimes we get marketing gimmickry happen and we don't end up getting a whole lot of the gimmick, the ingredient that's designed to sell the product. You tend not to get that in Korea, which I love. This, stunning. On the vanity, you travel with this, you look a million dollars and it's really not expensive considering that ferments are quite expensive to formulate. They're great for hydrating the skin. They can help even out the skin's tone and texture, which is fantastic. But I think where their real benefit lies is in locking in that hydration and just giving you a really nice, gorgeous, soft feel to the skin. I was worn around by this and it also has 11 ingredients, which isn't a whole lot when it comes to skincare. So for people that are looking to minimize their total ingredient count in their routine, this can be a really nice nice hydrating um, essence to include. It goes on the skin much more liquidy than um, the Make Prem products did. But again, I think that's quite nice because it's quite refreshing and you could leave it in the fridge again for the ultra cooling on those warm summer days. I love this. No scent to it. In fact, I think everything we've mentioned so far has been fragrance free, which is great if you're looking to minimize fragrance. I just fell for this. I like the look. I like the vibe. I like the concentration. And whilst my skin doesn't crave a whole host of hydration all the time, for those days in summer where my skin does get a little bit drier, this honestly, holy grail, is one that I'll probably keep using time and time again. Now, I've actually got two sun care products to share. First of all, I'm going to do a whistle stop tour of this, which is the Make Prem UV Defense Fluid, which is their updated formulation of their original holy grail UV Defense Me Fluid. They sound very similar. They look very similar. This is a hybrid sunscreen, which combines um, chemical and mineral filters. The original was just a mineral sunscreen. The reason I'm skirting past this is I honestly couldn't wait to share this with you because I love, love, love this product so much. So actually, did a whole review and like a side-by-side -side comparison with the original in a separate video which I'm going to link up there check that out because I think I can't do it justice in this video if you want to know more details about it how it applies and all of that then I'd leave it in that video check it out because honestly you won't be disappointed but this is the real, this is the, when I was talking innovation and something that I think is going to be huge in the next couple of months. This is the product I was talking about. This is the Essence Sun Packed by VT Cosmetics. So we called out Gwyneth Paltrow. If you remember a few months ago, we called out Gwyneth Paltrow for using sunscreen as a highlighter. There's a whole trend going on TikTok, which is so alarming and disturbing, uh, which is called sunscreen contouring. This is where you put sunscreen on the high points of your face, like under the eye and where you want a lighter highlighted look but you don't bother putting sunscreen anywhere else. That way you tan here and it almost creates a natural contour. No, 
you apply sunscreen everywhere. This is just one of those trends that needs to instantly die. You apply sunscreen everywhere. But it did get me feeling like if this is super and Gwyneth promoting the sunscreen as a highlighter vibe as well, this is clearly an emerging trend and it's totally unsafe. So what can we do to kind of get around that? Well, I tried this. This is by VT Cosmetics. And look at that. Like that looks bougie. It looks gorgeous. It's actually super affordable. So I'll call that out. But this, so great. What this is, is a sun care highlighter. So in here, you get a light level of SPF, but the main thing is you get a highlighter to boot. This looks gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it today, and honestly, my skin feels so, so good. I reckon, I honestly recommend you need to put a full broad spectrum sunscreen where you apply the right amount. If you want to know how to apply sunscreen like a pro, I did it in a video. Click on that link so you can see that you're applying it correctly all over your face. It is not a highlighter. It is not a self-care product. It is a medical product that is designed to protect your skin. So definitely, you know, never would recommend that. But if you want some extra protection and a little highlighter to boot, this is a really nice product. And honestly, I've been super, super impressed. I put a full layer of my sunscreen on like I would normally do. And then before I leave the house, I just dab a little of this on the cheeks, under the eye. It brightens everything up. It gives a little bit of extra sun protection, which, you know, it has to be a good thing. But it just gives that gorgeous finish to the skin. Like I said, I thought I'd put it on today because it takes about two minutes to really work into the synergy with your skin, but it just makes you feel so, so good. And if I call it out how gorgeous, gorgeous that looks, and I'll do a little do a little test on the back of my hand. It goes on and it just blends beautifully to give a really nice light finish. So I think if you know anyone in your life, and I think it's like a teenager trend at the moment, if you know a teen in your life that's sun, that sun cream contouring even, tell them not to bother buy them this, make sure they wear their sunscreen properly, and then just apply a little of this over. And also, it looks great in your handbag. So absolutely, absolutely adore this. And I think it's kind of makeup highlighter, but with great inbuilt um, ingredients to support with your skincare. And it's got a little bit of sun care in there as well. Win, 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 ding, ding, ding. Now, finally, before I bring this video to a close, I've got a couple of other things I want to call out. I finally completed my Beauty of Yosin collection by trying the final product that I hadn't tried from them, which was this, the Glow Serum. I loved this. It was a fantastic, I love everything by um, Beauty of Yos. And I think they're one of my favorite Korean skincare brands. Those that make Prem will probably be my two favorites. And I'm glad I ended my collection on a high because I really enjoyed this product. I still think I prefer some of the other um, products by Beauty of Yos and more than this, but I covered it all in a video, which I'm gonna link up there where I use this product, show you how it demonstrates, but also kind of compare it to some of their other collection. Cause I think like with all skincare, you need to match it to your specific skin type to get the most value. Now finally, I'm going to call out this. This is the Pure Derm Vegan Cucumber Peel Off Mask. So I do like to feature vegan skincare on the channel. Whilst I'm not a vegan myself, I do know a whole host of people that are living a plant-based lifestyle. I want to carry that through to their skincare routine, which is understandable. So I always like to call out, if I see something vegan, I usually buy it and try it because I know that so many of you guys would really appreciate that. But whether you're vegan or not, doesn't really matter because this is a fantastic, fantastic product. So what this is, is one of those peel off masks. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the peel off mask. This is where it dries and you like peel it off like plastic. I'm not a huge fan of those because I think we can be a little bit rough, but I do always say it's a huge market for it. And if you're gonna use one, at least use one with some added benefits to it. Don't just get one that's basically just plastic that you're peeling off your skin. Get one with added benefits. And this has so many. So in here, you get the cucumber for cooling and soothing. You get vitamin C, which is great for brightening the skin. It's also got glycolic acid in here. So it's like an exfoliating mask at the same time. And it's formulated with some really nice ingredients. I just think give a really good feel to the skin. This isn't gonna be great if you have sensitive skin because it does have fragrance in here and it does have some denatured alcohol, which is quite common in peel off masks. So it's not gonna be for everyone, but if you do like the sensation of peeling a mask off and you do want one that's actually gonna deliver some benefit, then this is a really nice one to choose. I personally would probably stick to wash off masks. That's my preference. I think they work better for the skin, but I know there's so many of you guys out there that do love that peel off sensation. And this probably is one of the best that I found because at least it's doing it with a purpose. So there you have it guys. My rundown of the Korean skincare products I've been trying this month. If I was gonna say there has to be some that you reach for, I would honestly take a look at that Hydrating Essence by Make Prem. Stunning. Ingredient list alone is enough for me to tell you to run out and buy it now. I also do really love that sun compact because whilst I do not condone in the slightest contouring with sunscreen, should never be done. I do like, I do appreciate that people like a lighter, you know, under eye area. And if we can do that in a sun safe way, why not? So that's a really nice product that I totally recommend for people. 
Of course, you know I love my beauty videos and, and check out that review video if you haven't seen it already. But wherever you are in the world, I'm sending you so, so much love and leave me a comment below with what your thoughts and feelings on anything discussed today. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.